everyone. Corey here, Christine. Hello. Happy We're, Thursday. Um, first Little tango in the background there, yeah, making his trying appearance. To, trying to get to you. Uh, we want to start off with uh, mentioning our annual giving day on September 16th, which is our third year anniversary of the Weston seizure. Um, so we're doing a whole campaign leading up to that um, with live videos and graphics and videos and updates of some of our birds that you've been following here on Facebook, like Little Boot the Budgie, Crystal, um, some of our Weston birds. Um, so this is just another little live video we wanted to give as a gift to you on uh, harness training. Yeah, we had have had a few people uh, mention, you know, my bird looks at the harness and runs, or um, I don't know how to put the harness on, or where do we begin? What type of harness should we get? Um, harnesses are extremely important because oh. birds love to be outside. Vitamin D is really, really good for them. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to make sure our birds don't fly away. So... Yeah, um, clipped wings, they can still get away from you. I've also had someone tell me a hawk took their bird off their shoulder. So, please just be very careful. If you bring your bird outside, use a harness, or if they are, for some reason, never accepting of the harness, um, travel cage. Travel cage, yeah. yes. So, yes, they have yes. little birdie backpacks now. Um, so, there's two types of harnesses. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> Starting to get some comments now. Hi, sis. All right. You uh, show this yes. harness first. So we're not going to be using this harness today um, on Tango because it's too small, um, this particular size we have, but it's called the Feather Tether. Um, you can see it there. Um, I have to show this nice graphic of a guy on rollerblades with his <laughs> Amazon parrot. <laughs> I can't deal with it. Okay, so... Um, it's a little complicated. It comes with two types of harnesses. It comes with a really small one for like your cockatiels. Um, and it's a little confusing at first because it just literally, oh, let me undo Yeah, they it. can't see it. So it looks like this. This is for the small birds. It's literally just a strap. And what you do is you kind of make a loop and feed it back through. Oh my gosh, hold on. You can hear the chickens in the background. <laughs> um, and then, so you make a little loop it's crisscrossed through the thing there and then you would snap this behind their back so their head would go through here their wings would come out here and their tail would be out here and then you attach it here so that's a little birds um really straightforward and simple um so this one let me undo it is a little complicated looking but it's just one of the other options you have out there that's actually the first harness i ever put on a bird um it was a Goffin's cockatoo named Snowball. It sure was. And it's ah. easier than it looks. Hi. So if you notice, um, these have little clips. Let's take this part off. Yeah, so that's, this is where the leash would go. So you see that there's a T. Ah. Come on. Tango's going to join the video, guys. Um, so the first thing you do, let me see if I'm going to do this right. This is the one for the neck. The one, and you would tie it well tie it you'd clip it to this o-ring so that would be around their neck and then these two come down you're doing very well with that so the head's here yep so think of this this is on the front of their body the little t see how is a t you make the neck and then this goes is it under their wings over their wings it goes under the wing under the wing this one clips under the wing we should have like a little fake bird to do this on um, and their butt would be out this way. So it's like this. Kind of see how that is? This goes down their chest. And uh, these would go under their wings. And then this is where the leash goes. Yep. And this is in the front of them. It's a little complicated to see it not on a bird. Um, but we're going to use the other type of harness, the aviator harness, that um, to put on Tango. Um, these are... I don't know. It's just actually, whatever you prefer. <clears throat> yeah, it is what you prefer. And it's what your bird prefers uh -huh. as well. I suggest getting a few different kinds and um, trying them out. It's complicated, uh -huh. but it's really not once you once you know it. Hey, Matt. Hey, Lori. Hey, Cheryl. <laughs> I, got a, I got a tail in my uh -huh. face. So this is the aviator harness. Obviously, they come in multiple different sizes. Um, the one I'm using today is the extra large. 
Um, normally, extra large is good for your macaws. You may need to get an extra, extra large if you have a hyacinth. Um, I find these harnesses um, less complicated and a little bit faster and easier to put on. Um, so let's talk about how do you get your bird ready for a harness. Um, multiple different ways we can do that. Um, I know when I first started, I would just kind of wear the harness around my neck uh, when I was you know, holding my bird or when we were sitting on the couch or walking around the house um, and kind of make a game with it. Just put it in their face or, you know, peekaboo, things like that. Um, so you want to make this something that your bird is going to be happy to see when it comes out. So however you can make this uh, something positive, um, that would be the first suggestion. And some birds, you may have to do that for months. Um, and I'm also going to make a suggestion here. Um, we are part of a, we, Christine and I are in a membership called the Parrot Project, um, which you can easily find here on Facebook. Um, Laura Joseph, um, Animal who, Behaviorist. yeah, she's, she runs the Animal Behavioral Center in Ohio. Um, she has step-by-step -step extensive uh, videos and actually in the Parrot Project, um, we are learning more, or that's one of the things that uh, she's teaching about right now, is harness training. So um, she has all kinds of really cool tips and tricks, and she takes it in baby steps, which obviously we don't have hours and hours to show you here today. Um, so Parrot Project, look it up. Um, if you do decide to become a member, you will not be sorry. The wealth of information that's in there and the uh, relationship you can develop and build with your parrot um, really astounding uh, we learn a lot so yeah. learning something every single time she posts a video <laughs> yeah um, she does live feeds she, question and answer yeah it's it's amazing um, it can be a little overwhelming at first but if you just take a little bit at night uh, each night to go through the archives of all the videos that she's posted in the past um, you and your parent will thank you and thank her and the rest of your family and your husband and yep yeah. and if you decide to join um, just mention us Oh yeah, um, mention Rhode Island Parrot Rescue, please, because um, we're trying to uh, refer as many people as possible, because um, in the words of Laura Joseph, when you know better, you do better. And that's right. We aim here at the rescue for people to better their lives of their birds, and when um, you can better your birds' lives, you better your own lives, too, because who wants an unhappy bird in their house? Not me. So, yeah, not me either. <laughs> He's pretending like he wants to come over here, but he's busy playing. Um, yes. So this is what the harness looks like. Um, not much to it, actually. Um, there is one little lever here that actually um, is what makes the harness bigger, and then this is how you tighten it once you get it on the bird. Um, so Tango's here, and I'm just going to wing this because I'm wing not... Wing it. <laughs> wing it, get it? I'm not really sure how he's going to feel. He knows I have the harness. Um, I had the harness around me when I got him out of, you know, got him out of the cage. I do take him out quite often. Um, hi. So. He's hanging right off screen. <laughs> like he's right there. Move the phone so they can see him. This is hilarious. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. <laughs> he's up there. There he is. He's like, the camera like is deceptive. He's right there. For sure. Are you going to come this time? You come? I'm gonna come. You want me to stand up? Come on. Come on. Good there we job. go. Alright, we got Tango. Little Let's baby Tango. See. Let me push over um, this way. Because I'm go. a distraction in Tango's eye. Do you want me to hold the camera? Um let's see it? how he does. Can you guys see? Can you guys see this okay? Or do you need it to be closer? Uh, or I'm let me let me take it and flip it around and is there a way for me to flip it? Yeah. yeah, here we go. Is it that one? Yeah, no, right here, the camera. Okay. So, she's not iPhone savvy, guys. No, she's I, got, a, I got she's an Android. Girl. I got an Android. She's Sorry, Samsung guys. Girl. I'm going to stick with the Androids. All right, so we got Corey and Tango. So, obviously, Tango knows what this is. Um, you want to put this on, bud? Hmm? You want to put it on? No, you just want to play with my shirt. 
So the thing is, is every, even if your bird like Tango has worn this harness multiple times and knows exactly what it is and what entails when he puts it on, sometimes they might not want to wear it. So that's why we say we're winging it because you never know how a bird's going to predict. Uh, you can never predict how a bird's going to act. Um, they're just like us. I mean, sometimes you don't want to do certain things. So I have so we have such a cool relationship. Um, he plays all the time. Um, so this this isn't uh, out of sorts for him. Um, he's he's just a, a little busybody. And yes, so he's always busy with his beak. I do give him the option. I don't force it on him. Um, but can you put this on for me. So the little opening in the front, that so little slit, yep, that goes over the head. <laughs> Maybe. Um, so a lot of people, um, we have Corey and Juliana who adopted Tango the green wing macaw, and they've been doing harness training with him for a very long time in their home, for months. And what they do is they hold a treat through the head opening. Yeah, like this. And even if they just, like, reach for the treat, you know, they get the reward. Baby micro steps. I mean... I probably should have some nuts. No reinforcers, Tango. I was just Do you want me to go? You to be the best. I can go grab some if you want. Oh my gosh, look at that happy, that happy little fluff up. Yeah, he doesn't want to put this on. I can tell. Do you wanna? Do you want me to get some treats? So when you're doing a harness training with your bird, it is really essential you know your bird and you can read their body language. Um, like I know my own personal bird a lot better than I know some of the birds here at the rescue. Um, and I'm sure you guys know a certain look your bird gives you and what it means. So it's really good that you have a relationship with the bird first. Woo! Good boy. That was... I love you. No. <laughs> here, do you want... Go back up here. That's what you want? Here. Can go back up? No? I'm going to go grab some treats. Yeah, grab some treats. Here. I can um, you want me to... back for a minute. I'm going to do front camera. So it's front camera try this again here in a minute usually he's really good um oh God, but there's never in. oh we're locked in the aviary great there's never really anybody around um much when i put the harness on tango either but as you can see um he's just really really oh i don't know what that was about but okay really beaky really really beaky beaky bird yeah beaky bird beaky bird you don't want to show everybody how you put your harness on huh Hmm? You just want to chew on my fingers. Hmm? Okay. Hi, uh, Sorry for the uh, delay, guys. <laughs> Can we step up? Come on. Come on. We're in the middle of a live video. <laughs> She's uh, in the process of getting us out of the aviary. You want to play? You want to play? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> yeah? Here, you want to step up? Thanks for hanging in here, guys. I promise I'm going to put this harness on Tango. You want to say hi, Diane? Let's see. Let me see if I can answer some of these questions. Are their harnesses small enough for green cheeks? Absolutely, there are. Um, the harness that Christine had, uh, the very first harness, the little one that looked almost like a uh, similar to a dog collar, um, that can definitely be used for your green cheeks. Uh, they also make harnesses for cockatiels too, so about the same size. Um, hi, Danielle, miss you too. Here we go. We got treats. <laughs> we got rewards. Let's see. My Scarlet Macaw has yet to go in his harness. It's definitely a challenge since they have to be in the right frame of mind. Yes, they definitely do. And he, I mean, he's full of himself today. Look at this. He just has not stopped. Huh? Yeah, you haven't stopped. Do you have something to say? You have something to say? Hmm? Thank goodness you guys. <laughs> I know, right? She used the phone. <laughs> She's like, thank God you have phones out there. So, okay. Um, I'm going to give the phone back to Christine. You want to try this again? Yeah. We got and nuts we have nuts, so let's see what let's see what happens. Positive reinforcement. Let's see. Let's see if it makes a difference here. Sometimes, they're right here. Um, sometimes treats wow. can make or break the deal, because if you're anything like me, I love to eat, so. <gasps> Yummy. Oh, oh, oh. So we got pistachios today. I know they're one of Tango's favorites. Or at least I think they are. I don't yeah, know. you love them. 
Give them up them. And he's a quick eater too, so it's not gonna take like three minutes to wait for him to eat his treat. Alright, step down. No, Auntie Lynn says hi Tango. Hi, hi Auntie Lynn, we hey, hope you're having fun. Alaska. Fun on vacation. Yes, <laughs> Alright, so, so did, take two. Do you see this? Tango telling me, what are you doing right now? Can we do something else? How about, uh, let's try what, uh, there you go. How about this? Ooh, woo! <laughs> and that's yeah. how you do it. <laughs> Yay! The rest of it's easy. So... The nice thing about Tango, like we said, is he's worn this harness before. So obviously, if he had never worn this harness before, just him grabbing the treat near the harness would have been, that's the reward in itself. And that's probably as far as we would have gotten today. Um, but because this is not um, his first rodeo when it comes to the harness, you know, he's totally fine with us just slipping it over his head. And you can see that he is not at all opposed to it on his body. He's used to it. Oops, wrong way down. Sorry. Here you go. Yep, treats were the key. It's all about so, distraction. This part's easy. You're gonna feed so you've got all of your string to one side of the bird. And then that's when you just lift the wing up. Okay, let me try it. to get a better angle here. Grab it here. Which so you want that line on the back, that little section on the back there. Sorry so, guys, I'm probably just going to make it more confusing. So, no, you just want this under his wing. Okay. This part. If he will give me my finger back. This part goes under the wing. What okay. happened here? Hold on. I think uh, he's got to step through the bottom loop. I'm just going to start over. It's okay, Bubby. Here. Okay. Now what we did, I know, sweetheart. This bird has so much patience with me, it's ridiculous. I don't even know how he does it, but he does. <laughs> so guys, remember, we're winging it today. Yeah, let's start over, Tango. How about we start over? Woo! He's just talking. So he, I think the problem was he didn't go through the big bottom loop either. That was off to one side. What are the chickens getting mad about now? There's a, pi a dove or a pigeon in the coop. Yeah, we have a resident uh, dove that comes in the chicken coop and a baby rabbit as well. And the chickens hang out with them and it's like a little Disney movie back here. Maybe we can get a close up of uh, the treat like this. Ooh, oh. uh, whoa, we did it! And he held on to that treat. No, he didn't. He dropped. Oh, never mind. I lied. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I'm looking through a phone, so it's hard to... Okay, step up onto the treat. Okay, so the difference what we did was, la then last time, that big bottom loop is also supposed to go around his head. No, it's not. Yeah, you put it through... No, I didn't. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> anyway. Hey. Well, before it was off to one side. That was because I had it. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so if you notice, she just tucked his wings under the... Yeah. Hello, baby. Can you see? Yes, Willow, we have chickens there too, but they are not up for adoption. <laughs> Wait a minute, Bubby. You gotta let me tighten it. So, right now she has it under his wings. Um, and, and guys, we do this all the time, and you see... Um, I mean, it, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Um... Just All right, she's gonna she's gonna tie in it if, if he lets her. Well, keep that beak busy, sir. No, he's aggravated. Yeah, <laughs> you know when a bird doesn't want a treat that they love, you know they're you know they're distracted and aggravated. And you want me to take it off? Huh? You want me to take it off? Huh? Yeah. Yes. Meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. So Tango, like we said, we he's worn this harness plenty of times, and today yeah, just. Every time we go somewhere, we have to put it on, right? Yeah. Um, but you know, they're just like us. I mean, sometimes. And you... he's never worn a harness in the aviary. He's used to me putting it on in the building and then exiting. 
while he's in the aviary, he's used to just being able to climb around and be free and fly and so yeah, little things like little heart desires, so little things like that that you might not even think about could be a factor. It's so many things that affect a bird's behavior um, that we don't that we don't even think about sometimes. Give me this. You give me this. Give me give me your foot. Give me your foot. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, boy. Right, would you like for me to take it back off, or you want me to tighten it? So essentially, it's on. She just has to tighten that big bottom loop. Yeah. Yeah. All I have to do is just push this up. Hey, 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 hey! That's my finger. Yeah, that's yeah. my finger. You cannot eat fingers. You, you, you cannot eat fingers. You can't. Of course you can. They're not healthy for you. <laughs> he likes to file my fingernails for me. See? Yeah. Look at. <laughs> Tango's that nail boop. service. That boop. That boop they also have flight suits, which are kind of like harnesses that have like a little poopy diaper. So when they poop, it goes in the little diaper part. Um, so that's another type of harness type thing. Okay, sweetie. So I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it just because, and I'm probably just going to take him for a walk because I don't want him to think I put this on him for no reason. So I'll probably just take him for a short walk outside or maybe a ride around the block. Um, and he's just being his super playful self right now. Yep, he is three years old, so, you uh -huh. know. Yeah, he's a baby. So we got it all tightened. He's a baby. Let's see if we can... Uh... So the back's going to look like this, Chris. You know? <laughs> so the back just looks like this. Yep, so it's like a T. And, and then, the whoa, is... hold on, hold on, hold on. It, says, it was like, rotate your phone. And then the front <laughs> looks like that. So see how yeah. the loop goes around his neck and meets in, it's like a V shape. There we go, handsome man. Look at those chicken legs. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and, and his feathers, um, this isn't like super tight or anything and, and they'll straighten themselves right back out. Um, you wanna go? Wanna go for a walk? Come on. And that is how you put a harness on a bird that already knows how to wear the harness. Um, like we said, it's a baby, baby steps when you are training with your harness. Some birds, you need to just leave it near their cage at all times and uh, let them get used to its presence. I know a lot of the African greys and cockatoos can be really sensitive to new things. Um, so it's just all about desensitizing them to it as um, they, you don't want them to see it as a bad thing. All right, well, Tango's ready to go. So I'm going to turn it around and again please, if you have any questions please let us know yes oh god my arm is not long enough for this but um hi guys get him back in here <laughs> hello tango oh gosh i'm Ooh, gonna set this no, no 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 she's it's okay it's okay see i got too close to tango so we're gonna put the phone back all right so we hope that was more helpful than confusing <laughs> yeah i'm sorry guys <laughs> um but that's kind of how it goes with birds um you don't know how it's gonna go and they're gonna act the way they're gonna act depending on their mood um, I think it went actually pretty well. Oh, I want to mention one more thing, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, make sure you don't just have one harness. Make sure you have two. Reason being, uh, obviously, those of us who have birds know how quickly something like this can get bit through or destroyed. So you always want to make sure you have a second harness with you if you are out with your bird. Uh, another item I'm going to suggest, Michelle Carrillo. Uh, gosh, I'm drawing a blank right now. There is um, a toy that you can get. It is a metal toy. It's also a foot toy, but you can buy this. It's great for the larger birds or the birds that can chew really quickly, cockatoos, macaws, um, and it can be placed right here on the front of the harness. So um, when your bird gets a little bit bored or if he wants to start chewing on the harness, um, he can chew on that instead. So uh, I know that uh, Luann with Parrots R Us, um, she has that for her Harlequin and both of her hyacinths, I think. Yeah, it was and, like that little metal stainless steel. Yeah, and, and it I works, works out really well. No, so. my, uh, my cockatoo would love that thing because he likes twisting little parts and stuff. So it helps redirect their chewy bitiness. Yes. Like, so they're chewing on the part of the harness you want them to chew on, which is the toy you put on it. Right. Um, rather than the harness itself. Because the last thing you want is your harness to break and you're out there and there goes your bird. So. Yeah. Don't want the harness to break. So always keep a second harness. Another thing that's cool is bungee 
the yeah. the second part of this leash is bungee. So if they do take off and they and freak fly. out, it's not gonna like snap their bones. Um, so yeah, yep. it's a bungee cord, so it actually gives them the freedom of flight. Uh, I've actually seen people run with their birds on harnesses. I can't keep up. Or but. like that picture with the guy in the the <laughs> roller, roller blades. blades in his, <laughs> his, his, and sorry, I can't get over that. Um, <laughs> yeah, they also you can extend the lead too, so you can have a really long lead. So people who think they can't do flight training with their birds in a harness, that's not true. You can have a really really long lead. Um, okay. I mean. As soon as you say you can't do something, then you're already setting limits. Subjecting yourself yeah. to it So not being able to do it. There's always a way to do something. And of course, if you really want to do free flight, get a huge aviary or see if you can find a place that lets you use <laughs> one. Um, just please, uh, free flighting without a harness is like a really extensive training thing. And please take your baby steps first with the harness and your aviary before you lead up to that if you really want to And join the bird. parrot project. Yes, Because please. guess what? You'll learn how to do everything on there, and you'll learn how to do it the right way. Yes. Really Please. good group, and uh, there's nothing but love there. So, um, I just saw the chicken run right now. Take it from somebody who's been working with birds for over 10 years now. Uh, there's a lot more that I learn every single day. So yes. look up the Parrot Project, um, or, you know, even the Animal Behavioral Center. She has um, coffee with the critters every Sunday morning. Yep. Laura Joseph works with all and every animal. Yep, I think she's, she's currently awesome. working with alligators right now or something crocodiles or alligators oh. I saw in like lemurs yeah crazy stuff so thank you those who hung in there with us um, for those of you who end up watching this at a later time um, after it's been posted uh, thanks for hanging in there with us and uh, try to remember us on annual giving day it's coming up pretty quickly here on September 16th um, we are trying to pass last year's, uh, surpass last year's goal. Uh, last year we made, I think it was a 4,100 on annual giving day. Um, so that covered almost a half a month's worth of expenses. So that was a pretty awesome, pretty awesome giving day. So, um, let's see if we can maybe get to 5,000 this year. That would yeah. be pretty cool. Um, if you have any questions about harness training, um, uh, feel free to email me at riparrots at gmail. Um, you can also message us here on Facebook. Um, both of our phone numbers are also listed on the website if you ever have any questions about anything regarding uh, volunteering, adoption, um, relinquishing. relinquishing, things like that. Um, but yeah, we hope you guys have a good day. It looks like uh, my buddy here is ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I haven't really ever seen him pay so much attention to the harness as he is right now. So I'm going to take him for a walk and I hope that everybody has a lovely afternoon. Uh, and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Cool. All right, I'm gonna end the video. Do, 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 do. Finish. Oh God, you guys are seeing my face up close.